Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the One Paw Wonder. Um, this is our third class of the six that we're offering. Um, we are, actually I wanted to explain that we are going to have um, three sessions of six weeks, potentially hoping for four sessions of six weeks, um, but we will keep in touch and let you know as we go through. Um, and today we're going to be doing the chicken alfredo with broccoli and um, it's actually in the works, I can smell it, it's yummy. Um, and for those that don't know who I am, I'm Terry Snyder and I am the program coordinator for the Healthy Families program at the Napa Friendship Centre. And I'd just like to take a minute to um, acknowledge our sponsor who is the Canadian Foundation um, for Left Bridge in Southern Alberta and a big thank you to them for helping us provide this program and also to our partners which is the Pincher Creek Food Centre that is um, working really diligently to get their new centre up and running and uh, we look forward to some future programs. Um, we'd like to thank the co-op for helping us to be able to gather our food and to um, assist us with each lesson that we have. Um, and also to the Vertical Church for allowing them to let us utilize their, their kitchen, which has been very, very wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, so I, I wanted to just take a few minutes just to kind of review the recipe to make sure everybody has what we have in the box. Um, and so we have, um, we're doing the chicken alfredo with the broccoli, but we've added a few extra ingredients just to add a little extra flavor. Um, so we've added some onions and some mushrooms, which isn't on your recipe, but, um, some people like mushrooms and, and onions, but if you don't want to add those in, you don't have to. Um, but we have put them in your box. So we have the broccoli and some chicken, some Parmesan cheese. Um, we have some butter and flour, garlic, um, the half and half cream, some salt and pepper and some oils. Oh, and our pasta. So that's, that's everything that you're gonna need. You can certainly add your own spices if you like. Um, and so what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut everything all up and I have it prepping on the stove. So I'd like to take you over to the stove just to give you an idea of what that looks like. And then um, once said we've done that, then I'd like to take you into making this, the actual sauce, which you will make separate from um, your chicken and your broccoli. Okay, so we've put our chicken and our broccoli and mushrooms and onions into one pot, which eventually everything will be in one pot. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So if you just um, put it on about, oh, I don't know, between medium and three quarters on the heat, like around six or seven, and just let that simmer. You don't have to add any water or anything. Just put your broccoli, your chicken, and your um, mushrooms and onions. Just put it all into one pot and just let it cook. And you can kind of stir it around. You don't want it to get too, too mushy. Um, but you can just let that cook for a little bit. So while that's cooking, then you can also take your butter. Now we're going to get into actually making the sauce. And so you can take your butter and your onions and just put them into uh, medium heat again to just kind of let it simmer and um, um, kind of melt your butter. And once that's finished, then we can start to put in um, some flour and I think you have a container you should have some like this if you don't have any at home um, take your flour and just kind of sprinkle gently don't put it in one big clump because of course it will get all mucky and kind of clumpy um, so just put in your flour and it should come out just if you keep stirring it it should come out to kind of a smooth consistency um, besides the, the chopped up garlic, of course. Um, but you want to just kind of make it into a, a creamy 
um, texture, sort of. Um, so once that's finished, so it should kind of look like this. I'm just going to turn this chicken down and turn this off. <clears throat> so um, once you kind of feel that uh, your garlic is somewhat um, tender, so we're going to put about a cup of half and half cream to start. Um, I don't measure. <laughs> I just go by visual. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So you'll want to consistently stir um, the butter and the garlic and the cream together because the flour that you've put in there is going to um, thicken it. So you're gonna want to make sure that it's a consistent um, stirring as it thickens. And if it gets too thick, you can just add a little bit more cream in it and it will um, to whatever kind of thickness you like. But keep in mind, once you have that sauce ready, you're gonna be putting that in with your chicken. So you don't want your sauce too, too thick because otherwise you're just gonna have one big clump of chicken and broccoli. So we're gonna put some, also put some salt and pepper and that's more just to taste. Um, some like it, some don't. If you don't, you don't have to. And so we're just gonna let that cook for just a, a couple of seconds. And in the meantime, we're going to go over just quickly, I need to take the water off of the pasta. So I have a pot underneath this strainer because we need to reserve the water from the pasta because that water is going to go, um, it's going to go in the, uh, chicken Alfredo. So I'm just gonna take this off for a second and remove this so I can utilize it. And I like to rinse my pasta so that it doesn't get gooey. Um, and I just use cold water and rinse off of all of the um, The, the flour base basically and just kind of so that it just lightens it up and it doesn't doesn't get gooey at all so I have the noodles done and they're just waiting to put into the sauce so I want to show you what I was meaning with the sauce getting thick so this is kind of like a, a pasty um, a thicker sauce and that's what you want because you're going to be adding some of the pasta water that you're saved when you drain them. And so we're going to put some of that pasta sauce or water. We're going to put a little bit of that into your sauce. And then we're just going to let it cook a little bit more, just in, and being sure that you're cooking it, um, or cooking it, stirring it, so that it's consistent and, and everything kind of goes together. So you can see that it's starting to thicken again. And just, um, so we've got the broccoli and the, uh, chicken and mushrooms and onions those are ready to go and we're going to um, stir in our sauce into the broccoli Actually, I kind of did forget one ingredient that you actually could um, melt your uh, Parmesan cheese right into your sauce um, because I kind of forgot. <laughs> We're going to just add some of that cheese into to, um, the chicken and 
we're going to just heat it up a little bit so that that blends in nicely to that. And you can you can um, kind of adjust your cheese liking and um, put that in accordingly as you as you like it. But we'll just stir this up and just let that simmer for a couple minutes. Okay, so now we have our chicken and broccoli preparation and it's ready. So I just want to show you the consistency of it with your cream and your butter and your um, cheese. So this is what it will be. You could have this on rice or um, if you just want to even eat it like this, you can. Um, but we, for today, we're going to be adding pasta to it. So once we've added the pasta, you can kind of adjust your texture or your um, kind of your sauce consistency as you like it. Um, and you can add a little bit more cream to it if you like. Um, and I, I probably am going to, I'm just gonna add some pasta right now. And so we'll, we'll put some of this in. We're not gonna use all this pasta today, um, but we'll, let's start with that. So, and then you're just gonna stir your chicken and your broccoli and stir it all up so that it's kind of throughout the pasta. And then I think, I think I might just add just a little bit more cream to that, just to give it a little bit um, extra. This is certainly um, not gluten-free <laughs> and um, it will stick to your ribs, I'm certain, but it is very yummy. And it's kind of a special, special thing you want to make. You don't want to eat this too, too often, but, um, and it's economical too. It's, um, you know, it's uh, an average, average meal. You can feed a family for four very comfortably. You could feed um, for $20, um, which is pretty good. So um, but I'm just gonna add a little bit extra cheese <clears throat> and then the masterpiece is finished. And just while I'm giving, giving this um, a little time for the cheese to melt in, I wanted to, to mention um, that we are very blessed here in Pincher Creek to um, have been sustaining and the COVID and keeping the doors closed on COVID. Um, we have uh, only one active case as of today and we have 24, um, or 25, sorry, that have recovered. And unfortunately we've had one, one uh, person pass away and condolences to the family. So this is the result of our cooking today with the chicken alfredo and broccoli. And so I've just sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan on the top. And um, I just like to share this recipe that was found on creme de la creme.com. And um, they certainly have some yummy recipes. So if you have a chance, check it out. Take care and stay safe. See you next week.